This is a sit-stand desk review of the Jarvis Adjustable Height Legs with IKEA Linmon Desktop. This will be my first official video of my revamped channel for cameras, computers, reviews, technology, and tutorials. I've done a bit of research looking for a desk and I've found the perfect desk for me and my family. Sitting for extended periods of time has shown to be bad for your health. The bottom line is that standing burns more calories, but remember, too much of one thing can be bad, so it's best to mix it up from sitting to standing throughout the day. When I first started researching these sit-stand desks, I didn't realize there were so many options, but that's a good thing. I wanted an automated desk versus a manual crank, not only because it's cool, but it makes it easier for the rest of the family. If you want to take advantage of the sit to stand several times a day, you might as well make it super easy. I've also seen mixed reviews on the stability of this, but I'm happy to report that this is relatively stable on my thick carpet. This is my unboxing, assembly, and initial impressions video. The install was super simple for me to handle on my own, and I was able to manage carrying a 60 pound box up to three flights of stairs to the home office. I did need some assistance from my wife to flip it over once I assembled the desk. Although it came with the required tools, I always like to save as much time as possible, so I used an electric driver with a 4mm Allen wrench bit. It helps that it's magnetized. If you built a, built a few pieces of furniture, this is worth the investment. See the links below for the details. Other desks I've considered. IKEA Bacant. This is probably the lowest priced motorized option, but when I visited IKEA, I just wasn't too impressed with the stability and wouldn't trust it with a 78 inch wide top. Stand desk. Uh, it looked like you still had to hold down the memory preset to get to the requ requested height, so I skipped that one. Up desk. I also considered this, but it only had three presets and it wasn't one touch automatic like the Jarvis. My second runner-up was the Uplift 900, which is close to the design of the Jarvis, but its staged legs go from thin to thick bottom up. I felt that the Jarvis design was much more stable in my opinion. It came down to the Jarvis because of the following reasons. It had an overall 5 star review and it's available on Amazon Prime since I was going to get my own desktop at Ikea. The control panel is one touch automatic with 4 presets and a digital display. However, you can still adjust it manually by pressing the up and down arrows. The legs can support 350 pounds and comes with a 7 year warranty. And the motor raises and lowers from 23.5 to 49.25 inches very smoothly and the frame expands to fit desktops from 44 inches to 82 inches wide. Assembly. Assembling this desk was pretty straightforward and I'd have to say it's easier than some IKEA furniture. Since I took the time to record this, it took a while to build, but I was, if I was able to do it again, I could probably do it in 20 minutes or so. The Jarvis desk was nicely packed in a nice dense foam, and all the pieces were spotless other than the fingerprints I left behind. It comes with a small box that controls the motors. You'll have four wires to connect, one to power, one to each of the two motors, and one to, to, to the control panel, but instead of placing the box near the front where the manual had it, I put it in the back, behind the frame. When first turning it on after assembly, you'll have to reset the motor by moving the height to the lowest position. That's also called initialization. Overall, I like this desk and it's very well made and built like a tank, and I believe it'll last quite a while. Desktop. We stopped by IKEA and picked up the black brow Linmon desktop which measures 78 and 3 fourths by 23 and 5 eighths inches. At 45 bucks, this was a bargain compared to the ones you can configure with the competition. If it craps out on me, I have no problem replacing it with something more solid. Use. The automatic control panel was a key factor since I wanted to save sit and stand positions for the boys and sit stand positions for my wife. It is also much more convenient than a manual crank or a manual tube button adjust without presets. For stability, at sitting height it's extremely stable. At standing height there is a slight wobble, but I have to try much harder and at lower positions to make it move. 
It's definitely not as much as I experienced with IKEA variants. I also have a very wide six and a half foot long IKEA Linmon desktop that sits on top of thick carpet. I purchased some metal desk or cord organizers on Amazon, although it came with some, um, at least the legs came with some cable mounting clips to take up the slack of the cables. These seem much more durable than the plastic versions and has enough room to hold the power strip. Check out the description below for the links. If you're like me, you'll definitely want to get your cable management game top notch. If this is your first time getting a standing desk, be sure you're using it properly to get the full health benefits of a sit-stand desk and read up on ergonomics. In short, you'll want your display to be at eye level and your arms at 90 degrees when typing. I plan on getting a standing mat which I'll link in the description and when I get one I'll definitely put in a review. Now to what I like. I was about to purchase the uplift but finally decided on Jarvis and glad I did because Amazon delivered this for free within two days with Amazon Prime. The leg design goes from wide to thin in three section and just looks very awesome. The quality of the hardware is top notch. I can see that the welds were clean um, and I had to look because I saw a review on another desk that had some sloppy welds. Assembly was easy and it came with all the hardware to screw, that, screw the IKEA desk on top of it. Depending on your tolerance to noise, it's not too loud in my ears, but it has a cool motor sound. Here's a sample. If you plan on putting a shelf like I did above the desk, I was able to use the desk as a lift, which was pretty neat. And since this will be used with the kids' desk chairs, I was able to lower it to a height for a 9-year-old and 6-year-old. Now, on to what I didn't like. It was pricey, but I looked at it as an investment in our health and the flexibility of different heights made it worth it. Now this really isn't about the Jarvis legs, but the Linmon desk has a paper honeycomb center and only the ends are reinforced for screws, so keep that in mind when trying to drill or use screws towards the middle. Now since either the desk or the legs came with drawers, I complemented it with, uh, an, I complimented it with an Alex drawer from Ikea. And the final con is that it doesn't talk to me like an Iron Man. Alright, sorry, that's a geek joke. Overall, I like the ease of use from sitting to standing, and the kids are thrilled to have their own desk instead of having to use the dining table which wasn't op optimized for their height. I highly recommend this desk so far and would buy it again for $500 and would rate this 5 stars. I plan on doing a detailed review later, so please subscribe to stay up to date. If you have any questions, please post them below. My only regret is that I wish I haven't spent so much time customizing my current desk so I can get one myself. Thank <laughs> you.